what's up everybody and welcome back to the homestead if you've never seen our videos before my name is liz and my husband mike and i are homesteading on 10 acres up in north idaho we've built ourselves a shop house we are gardening sawmilling and raising livestock you guys might have seen a few weeks ago in one of our previous videos we built this dual purpose animal shelter i actually have some meat chickens in here right now and today i'm going to be working on enclosing their little pastured area so i'll show you guys what i have going on so here's the chicken coop and sheep shelter that Mike and I built a few weeks ago. What I have to do is get some chicken wire strung up on this half because the meat chickens are going to have access to this whole entire thing. They're getting big so they're ready to come out of like their brooder area. So I've got a big roll of chicken wire and it's about this tall. So I'm just going to go from T-post to T-post. I'm actually going to be zip tying it, I believe. Shouldn't take too terribly long, but this needs to be done. These chickens are ready to go outside. All right, you guys, I'd like to take just a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Nebula. They have recently come out with a brand new product, the Mars 3 projector. The Nebula Mars 3 is the world's first truly outdoor projector. The machine is equipped with a multiple setting light bar as well as USB-A and USB-C charging ports. So you can make sure your devices are charged whether you're indoors or out. I am extremely impressed with this Mars 3 projector by Nebula. It's basically a battery bank in itself. It comes equipped with 185 watt hours of battery life. So you're going to be able to watch movies, plug in your devices, listen to the speaker for up to five hours without any worry whatsoever. That's a long time. So this is basically like an outdoor little powerhouse right here. I think you're going to be super impressed with the Mars 3 projector by Nebula because it's designed for indoor outdoor use. You don't have to worry about using it outside because it's definitely well built for that. The Mars 3 projector by Nebula has an IPX3 waterproof rating and can withstand drops up to 0.5 meters. And it has a dust proof rating of 0.7 mm. So you know that this thing can take a little bit of a beating without breaking or shorting out or anything like that. The Mars 3 has an automatic lens cover to keep your lens protected. The lens can actually project up to four meters with a 200 inch ultra large screen. The Mars 3 has this awesome battery display that you can turn on without actually turning on the machine. This is designed with consumers in mind and it's actually an industry first design, not to mention the remote control that's battery operated. You don't have to get up to control the volume to turn the machine on and off. You can do it all while you're sitting down hands free. Okay, I think one of my favorite features is not only is this an awesome projector, but it's a speaker as well. It's got 270 degree, three 40 watt speakers. So you can Bluetooth your phone, bump some beats. It's plenty loud enough. This thing can do it all. All right guys, when you turn on your projector, this screen is going to pop up. That's actually the AI imaging technology. So it is figuring out how big your screen is, the color, the brightness, it's going to fit it so that you can get the best quality, whether you're inside or outside and then it fits it to the screen. You can see how great that picture is right there. <laughs> that is awesome. And that is a big screen too. This is a 16 foot garage door, almost like being at the movies. It is so obvious that Nebula has created the Mars 3 to be an absolute explorer. They have reached the highest level of quality and excellence and the performance as an outdoor projector is seriously top notch. I'm super impressed. This product has all of the bells and whistles. Nebula has really outdone themselves and they want you guys to be explorers as well. They want you to be able to take this projector out into the wide open, watch movies under the stars and have a really truly amazing like one of a kind experience with this new technology. You guys can click the link and the description box below to head over to nebula's website to check out the mars 3 projector for yourself i'd like to thank nebula for sponsoring today's video we're actually having some friends over to watch the rest of our homestead rescue episode so i'm gonna go do that
All right, we were able to get this entire space enclosed with the chicken wire on the bottom part. See, the chickens are out. They are so happy. The door is open. They're able to stretch their wings now. We had to do wooden stakes in order to keep the chicken wire off of the electrical fencing because we still need the electrical fencing to be live because this is part of a bigger fence that runs all the way down there and keeps the sheep in as well as the chickens. So this goes all the way around. The wooden stakes, you know, we spaced every 10, 15 feet or so just to keep the fencing the chicken wire off of the electrical fencing and that seems to work really good so we feel safe that you know nothing is going to be getting in here because it is live the chickens can't get out we had to go through i had a bunch of little metal stakes we staked it down to the ground so that they can't really slip under we deal with a lot of rock in this area specifically it's actually like honestly old asphalt i think there used to be an old road here so like this is all asphalt. We couldn't get the stakes to get into the ground here. You can see Mike actually pounded some rebar in there with a hammer, but that's really, really hard. Pretty much impossible to get a wooden stake or like anything that's not super heavy duty into. That's the only spot they haven't slipped through yet. There's a few spots that I just put rocks so that they for sure can't get through. But so far so good. It's working for now. They can't slip under. They're not interested in going over. They're just interested in the bugs, in the grass, grazing, stretching the little wings, and sunbathing. This is our third time raising the Freedom Ranger broiler chickens. So we do feel like we're kind of getting it down. We had a very similar setup last year. We had them in the same area, but it was much less permanent. We used that temporary like movable electrical fence. That didn't work super great because it was so pliable. The chickens were able to slip right through even when they were full grown. But this chicken wire, you know, it's small. It's about one inch um, holes. So the chickens are not going to be slipping through that. This is the only really good option that we have on our homestead because it's a mountain property. We don't have a lot of flat area. I know a lot of people that raise broiler chickens like to use the chicken tractors and just push them along the pasture, you know, day by day and they tear up the grass right there. Unfortunately, we don't really have that option because this is one of the only flat spots that we have that is actually grassy down where our animals are. So you kind of take what you can get, you know, since we did have success raising the broilers last summer, we feel confident that we're going to be able to raise these for 10 to 12, the 10 to 12 weeks that it takes for them to get to the weight, you know, to butcher. So we do feel confident about that. I've noticed that the broiler chickens are a little bit different than like the laying hens when it comes to putting themselves away at night. When we came down last night at dark, we wanted to see, you know, do they put themselves away into the coop like a laying chicken wood and the answer is sort of we came down and they were all like huddled around the doorway so we kind of coax coax them in um, we're going to be doing that until they really figure it out we have an automatic chicken door that we're actually going to be cutting into this side right here so it will open up first thing in the morning and then shut at night we'll still be checking on them just to make sure that they're getting inside you know we want the chickens to be used to their coop while they're here that's the safest spot for them to be at night in terms of predators at our homestead you know we deal with bobcats there's cougars there's bears lots of overhead birds I do want to build a scarecrow um you know just for a little bit of extra safety we've knock on wood never had issues in the past of the overhead birds we don't really have a lot of owls here we have the eagles we have the hawks we have the ospreys they do seem to be a little bit more concerned with the fish in the creek that's right across from our property than they do with anything else you know, that kind of goes with raising livestock. You have to be prepared to mitigate as much as you can. The predators, it's not fun to lose these. You know, that's time wasted, that's money wasted, it's resources wasted. So we're trying to mitigate that as much as possible while still being practical and wanting to raise these livestock for our own to have, you know, this fresh meat. We're doing what we can. I feel confident with the setup. The chickens are happy, everything is good. The fence is still electrified. So it should work out just fine. If you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to leave them in the comment section below. We very much appreciate you watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.